Welcome back. It's time for our weekly rave review. Okay, this first show, I know I'm kind of a little bit late to the party because it premiered earlier this month, but I'm telling you, I love it. It's called I Love That For You. Isn't that so condescending? I love that for you. <laughs> it stars the amazing Molly Shannon, Vanessa Bayer, and Jennifer Lewis, who is amazing. It's set, this TV show is set in the world of home shopping. If you want to see what happens at a home shopping network behind the scenes, uh, I hope it's like this because it's hilarious. Take a look at the trailer. My dream was always to be a host on SVN. Are you new? Yeah. Ugh. Uh, uh. Who is this person? I hail from Cleveland, and if y'all are looking for a real good friend, you know who to call. Yeah. <laughs> Darcy, move her down to 3 a.m. 3 a.m., yeah, I agree. I'm Jackie. I know who you are. Hey, y'all. We're coming into people's living rooms. It's a relationship. What? No more sandstone, tell them we're out. You gotcha. Sorry about that. Don't okay. talk to me. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't no. apologize. Sorry for saying so. Two minutes to live? You're gonna be great. Really? I'm not sure. Are you dying to smell it? I sure am. Mmm. Mmm. You're fired. What is the status on the bus? Yeah. Kim wants oh, a friend of the I have cancer! Oh my god, what? You know, I had it when I was a kid, and she back. But you did have it. You had cancer. But she's saying she has it now. She doesn't have it now. Hey, Jesus, you're not going to take this one yet. I love this show for you, that you get to watch it, because it's hilarious. Now, I know it's crazy, so this new girl dreams of being on the network. She screams out, I have cancer, so she doesn't get fired because she's kind of doing a terrible job at first. So they keep her there because they feel bad for her, but she had cancer as a kid, but doesn't have any more. So that's really, I don't recommend doing that. Don't lie about that, that's terrible. But it's a funny premise because you get to meet all these funny characters who are on this, this fake shopping network. And I just want to point out too, that I, now that I've met Molly Shannon twice, not once, but twice in two different years at the Critics' Choice Awards, she is one of the nicest people ever. So I met her in 2020. Then I met her, this is just in March of this year. And when I said, hi, Miss Molly Shannon, I met you a couple years ago. And she's like, no, remind me of your name. She was very polite. And I told her, and she's like, oh, I'm Molly. I'm like, I know who you are, Molly Shannon. You're amazing. We got to talk about it. She's on the show, my show of the year last year, the other two, which I loved. She is amazing in everything she does. And she is one of those like Jay Leno people, down to earth, nice. She talked to me like I was the only person in the room and she had all the time for me. There were a million people at this award show and she, both times, both times I met her, nothing but nice. You can catch her on this show. And she also just wrote a book about her traumatic childhood, about how her mother and her siblings were killed in a car crash when she was just a little girl. It, to see where her life started and how she's overcome, amazing. You need to read her book as well. Molly Shannon, top notch, A plus. I love her so much. Cannot sing her praises enough. Okay, uh, I do want to talk about a, a new show too. Now, I reviewed a version of this show last year, the first two seasons, called Love on the Spectrum. It's about people who are on the autism spectrum and they're trying to find love. They wanna find their soulmate. This show melts my heart, it makes me cry, it makes me love anybody on the autism scale, I just wanna be their friend. It is so sweet, it is so sentimental. Take a look at the trailer. Are you looking for love? Uh, yes, unquestionably so. I don't want to be alone. I want to find someone. I haven't dated in 33 years. Uh, you could imagine I have to kiss many frogs to find the right guy. <laughs> nope. Everyone is different. Correct. Whether you're on the spectrum or not. We are, however, all looking for the same thing. Respect, understanding, and a whole lot of love. Here I go. Sorry, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? I'm nervous too. I think you are so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I got the giggles. What are your dreams? My dreams is to meet somebody. <laughs> and I finally got to meet you, and I think you're really cool. I like her so much. This is so fun. You're my lion, and I'm your lioness. I really like how you hold my hand. Cheers to us autistic people that are coming over leaps and bounds, now possibly finding love. Woo! What do you want to do in the future? Imagine what you and I do if we go have an adventure. Oh, 
thing from the heart and from the soul is much more important. And I think this is what true love means. It's gonna be a new chapter, yes! I wanna cry just watching that, because it's so sweet, and it's just the common, commonality of being a human, of wanting love. Everybody wants love, they seek it, they wanna find that soulmate, and that's all they want. And I'm just like, man, if that doesn't tie you together with all of humanity, I don't know what does. It's so sweet. It is so special, and I, I love the show. The U.S. version is now on Netflix, and you can also watch the two seasons of the Australian version also on Netflix. Okay, quickly, I do want to touch on Downton Abbey because, now listen, I know I'm a TV critic, but Downton Abbey used to be a TV show, and now it's a movie, and I went to the movie with all my friends here at Fox AM. I had high expectations. It did not disappoint. I want to take, quickly just remind you about how awesome Downton Abbey is. Take a look. Years ago, before you were born, I met a man, and now I've come into the possession of a villa in the south of France. What? Three, two, one. They better be warned. The British are coming. And with that, I will say good night and leave you to discuss my mysterious past. It is, guys, it doesn't disappoint. It's way better than the first movie. I love the whole series. The first movie was good. This one blew the first movie out of the water. I mean, it is perfect closure. It is perfect. I just love this. Okay, I want to bring CJ in here because CJ, coming up, there's a new kind of a reboot of a show on Fox called Don't Forget the Lyrics. This is a great show. It just started Monday with Niecy Nash. I'm going to show you a little bit of what you can expect, and we're going to play this game, our version, coming up next. So take a look at this. If you give me the correct missing lyrics to 10 songs, I'm just going to hand you a million dollars. I'm Niecy Nash, and I'm the new host of Don't Forget the Lyrics. I'm feeling the the challenge is not only to know the song, but also to remember the correct lyrics. Hit it! People do not believe they're going to forget the lyrics. Some I don't know the words, but da 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 Now it definitely sounds wrong. The lights go down, the pressure is right there, and you have to see if you really are built for it. Is it live? I've got all my love to give. We've got the songs and we've got the money. One million dollars. Exciting, fun, big, loud. And it just got sexy. Ew. Uh, don't forget the lyrics is on Mondays on Fox. We're going to play a version coming up, but I do want to say too, I got to meet Miss Niecy Nash. Oh, wow. In 2020, she had brought her mama to the award show. She was so lovely and funny. I've loved her since Reno 911, the oh, TV show. Yeah. And again, I love meeting people who are, exceed my expectations with kindness. Yeah. Because I walk into that event feeling like a nobody. Like, I really do. Like, and these people have accomplished, but she was amazing and so nice. And I'm so happy for all her success. Oh. She's kind. So coming up, you ready to play uh, Don't Forget the Lyrics? Uh, I'm ready for my million dollars. We don't have a million. Oh, I forgot to tell you that. No million dollars here. Only on Fox, Monday nights. We'll be right back. <laughs> I'm sorry, CJ.